What's going on everybody? My name's Parth and welcome back for more Fire Emblem These Sacred Stones. In the previous episode, we have completed chapter 8, and if you guys have watched the previous episode, then you must know that all my homies hate Sir Orson. Why? It's because he's a traitor. He betrayed Reneus, he betrayed Prince Ephraim, and it was really suspicious that he wanted to hold on to Erica's bracelet. And if you guys remember in one of the episodes, they explained what the bracelets mean, the ones that Ephraim and Erica wear. It's supposed to be used to protect against evil slash darkness. And Seth came in, swooped in, is like, hey, yo, bro, you kind of mad sus and caught on to his lies. And then he just, just took off. He just took off like that. And we just fought against Torado. And now in today's episode, we'll be doing chapter nine. Prince Ephraim, is that you, Seth? I'm almost ready to depart. I'm leaving Erica in your care. Actually, my lord, we have the honor of riding with you. What? What about Erica? The princess informs me that she will be accompanied by a Frelian es escort. Oh yeah, so let me explain something. All right, so before I got to that screen where it says, oh, go with Princess Erica or go with Prince Ephraim uh, before chapter nine, you know, officially starts. So essentially there was this like long freaking dialogue, right? And the first dialogue cutscene, it was just showing that, you know, Erica and Erica and Ephraim were having a nice little sibling conversation. They finally get to, I guess, catch up on some things. Erica was thinking about uh, this one guy named Lyron. I believe I, I believe you spell it like L Y R O N. And it, it was showing a flashback from a year and a half ago when they had this conversation about, you know, what do you wish to pray for? And Ephraim prayed to be the best fighter, and Lyron prayed to, you know, wish for pe people to be happy. And then I don't think it explained what Erica wanted to pray for. Pray for as in, you know, what do you wish for? She implored us to lend our blades to you on the front lines. So, oh, that's awesome. So Seth is actually going to come with us. She spoke to each of us individually. She knelt before us and beseeched us to go. Her sincerity, her concern, we could not help but be moved by her plea. Play, plea. I hope I pronounced that right. Oh, Erica, very well, you will all come with me. Yo, that is sick. So Prince Ephraim has some good old backup, unlike Sir Orson, because Sir Orson decided to be a traitor to Reneus. I don't like you, Sir Orson, but then again, he just ran off. I don't know where he ran off to though, because he thought he could go meet up with his wife. I'm pretty sure that was a whole entire lie that he's been told, but steal yourselves, this will be or this will not be an easy journey. Oh yeah, so I was also looking up, right? I was also looking up that when you play as Prince Ephraim chapters 9 through 14, it gets a little difficult, like the battles are difficult. I, I don't know, we'll just have to see. All right, so I must tell you, my lord, they are already preparing to depart. As I was saying, so I, I explained what happened in the first dialogue where it shows a flashback from a year and a half ago, and then it gets to this next cutscene where it's Princess Tana, uh, Princess Tana talking to Erica and Ephraim. They're, I guess they were just catching up on some things. Or there is no, I guess. I, I literally saw the dialogue cutscene like two times just so I can comprehend on what's going on, you know? But it's mostly just them catching up on some things. All right, the Tower of Valny has appeared to the east of Castle Fralia on the world map. Once held by Grado's troops, it has become home to a host of dark creatures. Oh yeah, and then, yeah, so they're talking. And then Erica and Ephraim were talking to, I think it was like Princess Tana's dad. Yeah. And then Ephraim has a rival, I believe. Okay, so I I hope I am pronouncing this correctly. His name is Enes, because it's spelled I-N-N-E-S. Ines, Ines? All right, it's like Princess Tana's like, I think, I think it was younger or older brother. And that's Ephraim's rival right there. Try using the tower as a training area to gain extra XP. Yo, that is sick. Oh, okay. I, I dig it. I love it. I, I am all for it. Sorry, I just burped. Once you clear a tower map, you'll have access to the next floor. Dude. Yo, that's what I needed. That's literally what I needed. And I, yo, I'll be honest. That's what I'm going to do off screen. <laughs> okay, so let's just, okay. We just, it's just telling us about the training tower. And then the final little dialogue cutscene, it was just that one of these sacred stones got destroyed. I, I think that's, yeah, one of these sacred stones got destroyed. And uh, yeah, I, what, like Frelia, I think? Dang, I, I should have paid, paid attention more. Probably once I'm done recording this video, I will definitely go look at it again. All right, we are at Fort Ridgewald. R Rid yeah, I'm gonna say Fort Ridgewald. 
I believe I pronounced that word right. The Stone of Fralia has already been taken care of. How is it the Stone of Reneus continues to elude us? Glenn, Valter, find the children of Reneus. Dude, you're not going to find us. We're going to kick some booty, okay? We're going to kick some booty, alright? Find them and take take from them the bracelets that they wear. You are not taking any bracelets, alright? We're going to be like, alright, look at our bracelets. Mega Evolve. Oh wait, wrong game. That's Pokemon, not Fire Emblem, alright? Because <laughs> whenever I think of bracelets, I think of the little the little Mega Evolution thing that, that you wear throughout like Pokemon X and Y all the way up until... Pokemon Sun and Moon slash Ultra Sun and Moon. Dude, I loved Mega Evolutions. I know we're playing Fire Emblem, but <laughs> I want to talk about Mega Evolutions. I've already talked about I've already talked about it before during my Ruby Salamence solos uh, solo run series. Mega Evolution is like the best thing to ever happen. Well, one of the best things to ever happen in you know the Pokemon in the Pokemon games. Erica A, she's a ripe little peach. Oh, I, I know what he was trying to say, bro. And her brother Ephraim, he's he's better prey than I'd imagine. Dude, Ephraim and Erica, y'all can't touch them, bro. Y'all can't touch them, all right? Grotto, you ain't got nothing on us, all right? Shatter the remaining sacred stones. They've already shattered one, I, I believe, at Castle Fralia. During that little cutscene before I got to the screen where it said, go with Erica or Ephraim. All right, go crush those sacred stones they, they house as you will. I will. I'll begin making arrangements for Rostin's downfall immediately. Why am I stuck with Jehana? A cursed ill luck. Oh god. Dang. Someone's a little cocky. He's like, oh no, I can do it all by myself. No, no you can't, bro. If I was with you, I would have done all the work. You're a lazy bum. Go to Fralia. Punish the Fralian army and their com commander Ephraim. Dude, y'all mm -mm, y'all got nothing on us. I don't even know who the boss is for this chapter. All right, well, we're just, we're just gonna have to find out since this whole entire mission is to be at Fort Rid uh, Fort Ridgewald. Leave them, but sire, sire Dussel, the emperor has spoken. Please, Selena, remain here in the capital. Yo, Selena, what's up, baby? What's up, baby cheeks? We shall have new orders for you shortly. Understood. All right, please, your Majesty. Grants me the privilege of a single question. You vex us? What? Your Majesty, you know that I will gladly lay down my life for an honorable cause, but these orders and all of our recent actions, they are not just. If I saw. What? Dude, okay, so there, he's just trying to go out. Or no, you sent our men to fight and die for nothing. This isn't war, it's murder. Okay, so Dussel, you know has some brain cells left you know he's just saying dude stop sending our troops out there you're just gonna die anyways this this decision is ours to make you have no voice in these matters grotto hello sir sir why are you talking like that go to fairly across the fairly army and he who leads them prince Ephraim. dude <laughs> do sell buddy yo listen to yourself man don't do this don't listen to grotto crush the fairly army and he who leads them, Prince Ephraim. Wait, whoa, 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 hold up. So, he, okay, so he is technically brainwashed. Because uh, he, I, I'm, I literally just read the same text, like, I think two times, three times. All right, Commander Geb. I think that's the boss. Commander Geb, all right. All right, so Princess Tana has been captured by Commander, what was, what was his name? Commander Geb? All right, so essentially was to find a key and free her and then just take down all the okay wait actually wait i'm an idiot dude it's it it says on my screen right there it just says seize the throne but of course you know we did we need to save good old princess tana so uh yeah let's go ahead and do that all right um first let me figure out where we need to go okay so there's staircases right here i'm guessing it'll lead us to somewhere inside here i guess i don't I don't really know all we need to know is that we need to seize the throne and of course go ahead and uh get tana guys guys okay so off screen i literally just took care of all the troops because i knew it was gonna be long because i had to keep protecting my healer and i also wanted to protect Ephraim just for him to make it all the way over here to where the uh, boss fight is for geb and uh Dude, that was a pain in the butt, and oh my gosh. All right, so here we go. Here is the boss fight, and we're going to let either... Dude, okay, bef before we even fight the boss, Seth is the MVP. 
I love Seth. And I forgot, I know I let Josh die. And I think it was Franz too that I just let down. I just let them die because, well, a bunch of a bunch of troops kept jumping th just those two, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And I know what I'm going to do off screen. I'm going to grind. All right, I'm gonna level up my characters. Right, it's a good thing we have that little training tower. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and fight the boss real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and do that little um, training tower and get some items weapons everything stock up on some healing items too because i am running out by a lot and it, it, it kind of sucks because i was looking at my items and i'm like wow i don't have jack crap i don't have crap man it, it, it sucks and i need to have more items and weapons and this was kind of challenging because i kept getting jumped but then again that's just how each and every chapter went for me so yeah all right well that it that is it for today's well today's episode i mean that is it for this chapter right here we beat the boss fight all right oh my god all right okay oh now all we got oh we got an iron axe oh no wait okay wait i i really hope that i got sent over to the um the little inventory i really hope it did because if it didn't then um yeah i, I would I would feel ashamed of myself. Prince Ephraim, the rest of the rest of the enemy troops have been routed. Bring me one of the prisoners. I have a question I need answered. Yes, we need all the answers, my boy. We need all the answers. All right, speak up. Speak up, enemy soldier. I'm going to ask you a question. If you if you've no wish to answer, remain silent. Nah, bro, just punch him. Slap him. <laughs> if you wish this conflict to end quickly, however, you will cooperate. Silent. What do you want? <laughs> Why has Grotto Invaded Reneus, I can't say. This war began on the Emperor's orders. Soldiers like me haven't haven't the foggiest idea what he's after. Then tell me this, where is General Dussel? In the capital, the, the General's been opposed to this war from the start. So, okay, so this is really interesting. So, uh, before we got into the fight, I, Grotto was repeating himself like take down Prince Ephraim take down Prince Ephraim I swear to god I read that text like two times I'm like wait a second I know I I know I uh went to the next little dialogue text I swear they say some are questioning the general's loyalty he's putting his standing and his life in danger by being so vocal is that so so General Dussel Dussel, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that's how you pronounce it. Remains the same true man I knew before. What about Prince Lion? There's where or I said there's where has he been through all of this? Why didn't he do anything to temper his father's aggression? According to rumors, Emperor Vigard has convinced to start this war by none other than the prince himself. What did you say? That's ridiculous. I, I know Prince Lion well. No one hates fighting more than he does. He would never do anything to trigger all of this bloodshed. No way! So, their old friend, Prince Lion, is the one who's starting this war. Well, that's a rumor, though. Seth, I intend for us to press on, on toward the capital. At some point, I expect we'll find either Dussel or Lion. Yes. I hope in the next chapter we will find them. Understood, but I have misgivings, my prince. General Dussel and Prince Lion are both men of Grotto. If we are forced to in force into conflict with them, yo, that's okay. I don't think I've seen that little detail in that little cutscene, that little flashback that I saw off screen because I was just reading it on my own and trying to comprehend what's like, why is it showing this flashback? Dussel was my teacher, and I know he is a man of character, and I've known Lyon since we were children. He, Eric, and I are old friends, so, so yeah, they're old friends, and Lyon is supposedly the one who wanted to start the war and i'm going to assume someone else is actually brainwashing their old friends and like hey i know you're old friends with ephraim and erica but i'm gonna brainwash you all right you're gonna be the one who starts the war everybody's gonna blame you or some something on something on the lines like that i don't really know are you, are you satisfied seth yes i apologize for my rudeness ah oh, dang it I wasn't paying attention to that t uh text your father is gone, that and that means you are the, you are king of Reneus. There is no other. I just ask that you no, you not throw yourself into needless danger. I hear you, Seth. This is why you're the goat. I mean, Franz and Kyle are are amazing too. But Seth, he's a man of his word. He words of wisdom from Seth, y'all. 
Once this war is finished, I will rebuild Reneus with Erica. That is my mission. Mira, what is it? You must return to Frelia. I cannot take you any farther on this journey. What? No, I want to stay with you. No, Mira. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, these two, uh, I believe they were, I guess, spying on the grotto. On grotto's men, whatever. Uh, they sense some, like, dark energy. like Or some dark presence. And they just... They just uh, took off and was like, yo, we're out. Everything comes from that direction. I can feel my lost dragon soul, and, and that's not all. The, the dark energy still flows unchecked. So that dark energy is definitely taking over uh, Lyron. I cannot go home while it stains the air, but Prince, please, I've thrown very well. I simply cannot refuse you anything. Refuse anything from you. Your eyes remain. <laughs> your your eyes remind me too much of Erica. You must not stray from my side. Do you understand? Yes, I will not stray. Selena, your orders. I am ready, Your Majesty. In your service, I am prepared to do. Rousseau has left for Beth, Ro or Beth Rowan. Take a battalion and follow him. Understood. When I arrive, I will place my troops at his disposable. Uh, disposable. Dis I keep saying disposable. Disposal. You will not. You will, not, you will strike Rousseau down. I think those are the words that I wanted to hear, but he's not the traitor. Whoever is brainwashing Grotto is the traitor. And well, whoever is brainwashing Grotto is making it seem like Grotto's the traitor? I, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to find out, but it seems like well, the assumptions are being thrown at Dussel that he's being the traitor because he didn't want to follow his orders. But the, the punishment for treason is death. General just. General Dussel, a traitor, that's just not possible. Oh my god, yo, this is Selena, you have your orders. Oh my god, yo, Selena, don't do this to, to Dussel. Your Majesty, will you allow me to ask you a question? When your Majesty saw fit to make me a general, you shared with you shared with me some words of wisdom. I remember the moments quite clearly. You told me the role of an Imperial general is that the is that of the shield, not the blade. We are here to protect our citizens. You said not to threaten our neighbors. Oh gosh, I have never forgotten your words, your majesty. I've held them to my breast. They govern my- Wait, your breast? What? <laughs> they govern my every action as general. I mean, I know what that means, but <laughs> I just saw breast and I was like, oh, okay. Your ma your majesty, that sentiment is still alive and go. Oh, okay. I humbly acknowledge your orders, your majesty. So, dude, I'm calling it right now when Selena goes to meet up with Dussel and quote unquote strike him down it's not going to happen because obviously Selena doesn't want to do that Grotto is not himself and apparently assumptions are being thrown at Lyron is the one well rumors have been told that uh, Lyron is the one who's starting this war that is this is very interesting and I really want to know what's going to happen in the next chapter so without further ado ladies and gentlemen go ahead and smash that like button 15 more likes thank you guys for watching and as always guys have a fantastic day